Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Today we are filming the project pen update for the month of August and it's a bit early it is the 27th of july today so i'm filming a bit in advance just because i feel like next week next weekend it will be just the smallest a bit too late but anyway um i did some progress i am happy with the progress but this year the project pen is going a bit slower which is nice because it means that i'm using other products as well but at the same time i think it means that i'm using makeup a bit less so yeah and i'm buying more makeup than ever before which is not the best so um yeah i was thinking maybe i need a no buy year or at least six months of a months of a no buy or something but i know that it will be very very hard for me nearly impossible i just have too many products in some categories that i'm not using and that is a shame so i'm i don't want to start this video on a bad note but yeah let's start so first of all with primer we have the nyx plump right back i really enjoy this one it is almost done next month in august should be uh, should be done so because of that i want to introduce another one into the project pen just to have options because i i, I know that i could use maybe this one five times and it will be done so i am happy with it i am happy that I, I'm finishing it up is just a great primer. I don't think I will repurchase it just because with primers as well, I just like my uh, Essence Hydrating Primer. I don't need any other, but I'm always curious about them, but at least I know for a fact that I like hydrating primers. Other type of primers are just not for me. I know that they are pore minimizing and mattifying primers and stuff like that. They are just not for me. Foundations are not looking great on top of them. It's just that is the experience that I had with multiple ones. So this one is great. I will finish it up, but I want to introduce into the project pen this one as well. I just want to motivate myself to finish it up because I really like it, but I have just the smallest amount left you will see in the close-up i think i could finish this one in like one month or something i used it today as well it's just a great primer but i just want to finish it up because i have others in my collection that i want to finish it up as well so it doesn't make any sense for me to keep like five uses of product in my collection so i want to finish those in the next month maximum two for foundation we have this one and i decided to put this one in the project pen just because it's a bit of a darker shade for me or at least it is my it is my shade right now because i have a bit of a tan and i am so happy about it and i bought uh, multiple products that are a bit darker just because because nothing is matching me which is a blessing and a curse at the same time so we have the makeup forever foundation i have it in the mini format which is great i have the shade 1 and 14 that is usually way way too dark and previously i wanted to purchase this one but it was way 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 too dark but now it's perfect and i love it it is a great foundation i need to wear it a lot more right now on its own because i think i can i think this is right now this is my shade or at least I can lighten it a bit with a concealer or something. I'm so happy. So uh, great foundation. I love it. And I think I just shook it right now so you can see it. But I uh, had a pretty decent line. So I am happy with it. The goal is uh, 30 uses for this one. And I used it eight times in July. I think it, that is pretty good. I mix it in most of the time with the soft glam um, a fluid from a catrice this is my favorite glowy mixer and i mix it in just to have a lighter coverage and i really enjoy that next we have the natasha dinona concealer that i absolutely love but right now it's just a bit too light for me and it's so annoying but i want to i want to use it i'm gonna apply just the smallest product and that should be fine because this is a pretty high coverage concealer as well it's so lovely i love it so so much is the shade N1 and right now I don't want to purchase another one even even if I'm finishing it tomorrow I'm not gonna purchase another one because I know that I would buy a darker shade and I know that in like four months I'm not gonna be this shade so I just want to have it in the winter months as well so because of that I'm gonna just 
try my best to finish this one up and then I'm gonna wait until the winter months to buy another rod. But this is great. I want to have it again in my collection because it's just absolutely lovely. I think I have a pretty small amount of it left though because when I'm dipping the dough foot in there it's getting some product but it's not that much product which is great so um yeah i'm not gonna remove the stopper yet because uh, that will create a big mess so i'm gonna wait even longer when the dog food is not picking up any product that is the time to remove the stopper so i do enjoy it it's just a lovely concealer overall i'm so happy that i decided to put it in the project pan as well next we have the nyx powder and this one broke on me this month which is not the best the cap just yeah the packaging is not the best but the powder is absolutely lovely i really like it and it's just great the shade is great as well is the shade banana still good for me right now it's just i i love this powder it's so good and i did expand the pen i used it every day because it's just it is a great powder and a great formula and everything is just working perfectly with it next i have the bronzer from essence this is just taking so long it's very annoying and <sighs> to know that this is like a three dollars four dollars product and it's taking me years to finish it up it's just another another thing that is annoying i'm not saying that it matters that it's expensive or uh, not expensive but still it's so much product in here and i'm almost done if this is not the month when i'm finishing it up i don't know when i need to finish it up in august i just want to use other bronzers as well in my collection i love this one but it is a bit too light for me right now and i'm applying a lot of it just to to have some bronzing uh, effect it is a great product i could see myself repurchasing it at some point but now i just want to finish it up and enjoy other bronzers because i used it so so much and it's still not done but august august needs to be the month i'm gonna use it every day i don't know but it needs to be done for blush i decided to put the rare beauty uh, hope in the project pen i used it like maybe five times or around that uh, and you can see any progress i put it in the project pen just for the long run i want to be there just in case i want to use other blushes i don't want to use one single blush and i know that this one works with multiple blushes and i could use it as a first step and then put on top any or any of my powder um, blushes and that is great so i really like it it is a great formula great product and everything you can't see anything because it is an insane amount of product in there and i'm very very happy that rare beauty did release the mini ones in my opinion this is useless to have a full size even if you are using it absolutely daily even if it is your only <laughs> blush it will still take a very very long time to finish i'm pretty sure that you don't have only one blush in your collection and if you do you will still use this one for months to finish it up for a highlighter i have the bh cosmetics one i love it it's great absolutely beautiful i used it 11 times in july we have a goal of 50 and we still have um, uses to go i think i could uh, maybe use it in uh, august and then maybe i'm gonna swap it out in september we will see but it's a great highlighter i really really like it for lips i have the pillow talk of course <laughs> in the project pad and for this one as well i don't think i can show you any progress i'm gonna try i did use it maybe four times this month i need to use it more it's so tiny though i'm so happy about it i think i will use it more in like uh, autumn months maybe it's just it, it's a shade good for all occasions i love it but um right now i just like a glossier lip something a bit more sheer so yeah i'm using it but not that much it is a great product and i am still 
devoted <laughs> on finishing it up this year but we will see it is only august i still have time to finish it up then for glosses i have the juicy bomb from uh, essence in the project wear uh, not a not a great product i don't love it it's okay i'm using it i have I don't even know how to show you. I have just the smallest amount left. I'm gonna use it two, three, four times more. And then I'm gonna remove the stopper, finishing it up in like, I think it will be done in like two weeks maximum. And then I decided to add another one into the project pen just because uh, I know that that one will be done. This is the e.l.f. lip oil. It is the shade crystal clear. Obviously it is the clear shade. Um, I put a mark on this one and I will show you a close-up because i know that this will take a bit longer this will probably take like three months or something around that i think you have a lot of product in here can i can i find that information 7.6 milliliters that is that is a lot uh, how much product is in the essence one i can't find it because the writing is coming off already which is not the best can i find how much product is in something else this is 7.6 this is 7.5 so i have <laughs> i don't know which one seems crazier of course the red beauty one <laughs> i have the same amount of product in a blush and in a lip product that is crazy bananas and i feel like the elf has a lot of product how much is in this primer i am curious this is 15 milliliters so twice the amount that's crazy you you see how little of product is in here and how much product is in here this is a blush and this is a primer this is a great lip oil by the way it is a minty feeling on the lips it's a bit plumping because of that but just the smallest amount just it looks great i really like it and it is hydrating it's a bit thicker it's a great formula and the type of formula that i really really like in a lip oil lastly we have the vive lip pencil in bark this is taking way so way too long as well and that is because i have just i i realized that i have way too many dark lip liners in my collection and i think i need to buy or at least i need to use my lighter ones a bit more I have just way too many dark shades. This is a pretty dark brown shade and I'm using a small amount of it and I'm blending it out because of that. So yeah, that's the reason it takes so long to finish it up. It's, it's looking great with a Charlotte Tilbury a pillow talk though. It's a great combo, but it's a bit too dark. So this was everything. I still love project painting and I am happy to finish some product. But at the same time, I need to buy less and I'm the worst. I am the worst at doing that. I'm always saying that I'm gonna buy less and I'm buying more rather than less because tasting new products is my passion. I love tasting new products. Today, as example, I have a full face of newer makeup in my collection and I will link that video down below. It should, no, it will be live maybe next week after this video. I'm not sure about that, but I will link it down below anyway. It's just, I love testing new makeup and reviewing it and stuff like that. And yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.